obtaining grace to last. What is the sixth and final reason why many, many people have their greatness short-lived? Are you ready? Loss of passion and fire for God. Loss of passion and fire for God. This is the final and the greatest reason why people have their greatness short-lived. It may not necessarily be anything wrong as far as whatever they are engaging is concerned. The problem can be that it is the secret place that is wrong. Ministry is still right. Everything is happening right. Business is still right. Everything is happening right. But you have stopped getting the result. You are preaching with the fire you preached yesterday. But the impact is no longer the same. You are singing the songs you used to sing yesterday. But the impact is no longer the same. You still have the finances you had yesterday. But the impact is not the same. Here is the problem. Loss of passion and fire for God. Second Chronicles 26.5 Uzziah. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. Ladies and gentlemen, my Bible says, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. As long as he sought the Lord. Can I tell you, and I mean this from the depth of my heart, and I don't say it from a standpoint of pride. I can close this Bible for one year, and still not lack what to preach. I can rise up from here now. I can jump into a plane. And preach in a conference. Back to back for the next two weeks. And I will not lack what to say. It is not always about what you are saying. It is about who you are loving. Sometimes what you are saying. May not change. But because there is a disconnect. Between your love life and that of Jesus. What you are saying may be right. But the impact is no longer right. Is someone learning? There are many pastors that stop working with God. And they are only working for God. Working for God. Revelation chapter 2, 4 and 5. Loss of passion and fire. Nevertheless, speaking about the church in Ephesus. I have somewhat against thee. Because thou hast left thy first love. What is his recommendation? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly. Watch this. And will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent. Hallelujah. Can I tell you this? The secret of any man who has remained in this work this business of thy kingdom come beyond everything they do beyond the skill the talent is their love for Jesus their genuine passionate love for Jesus I had a busy schedule all through last week and when I returned thank God for many of you and I appreciate your love and concern you know sending text messages and say apostle how do you rest you know this and that and that and as much as I appreciate it, I have made a covenant with God and with my life. I am motivated by my love for Jesus. I don't have to do the things I do. On Wednesday now, I'm in Lagos with Pastor Nat, the Oasis Conference. Wednesday, Thursday. From there, I head to Asaba. Friday, Saturday again. Then I'm back on Sunday. Me for you. Love. Say love. There are things only love can make you do. There is a level of growth. It's no longer about money. It's no longer about fame. All those points have been proven. The only thing that motivates you to continue when every point and every statement has been made is your love. i rather die loving him than to live without him. It is true. Hallelujah. You want to know the secret behind the jealousy of God upon the lives of many great people? find out their love for Jesus translated in their service translated in their giving 
translated in their living for him love for Jesus I will spend my life and be spent for him because I truly love him I'm not just serving him no if he gives me an instruction today to close koinonia and stop ministry I will ask the media to do a video for me before the whole world I will say oh world you know how much I've served God and how much I love you people but right now the one who was with me when you did not know me has given me an instruction and that's the end of it do you love him that much <laughs> the proof that you love him is what you can lay down for him love is not talk I love you I love you our world has disregarded that statement called love when we say love now it means many things to people to a point that it does not hold any value again can I tell you the real proof of love is what you can lay down not what you can say greater love had no man than this than a man laid down hallelujah for some of us we have given all we laid down everything everything for him everything and anything he ever gives us he only gave us as stewards it belongs to him it truly belongs to him the stage belongs to him the mic belongs to him the people belong to him the wisdom belongs to him the power belongs to him the influence belongs to him koinonia global belongs to him may nobody in this ministry beginning from me ever take the place of God say amen may nobody ever get to a point where we push God out and say I am the one no may it not happen in the name of Jesus Christ now listen to this every great person who desires to last in today's world must have these three things we're wrapping up I just thought to add this in my preparing this note it it came strongly to my spirit to just bring this as my concluding words every great person who desires to last in today's world must have the following number one prophetic intercessors who hold you up in prayer if you want to last in this end time especially in light of the evil that is in our world you must have prophetic intercessors who lift you up before God second Thessalonians 3 1 and 2 let's hurry up second Thessalonians 3 1 and 2 finally brethren pray for us we are anointed people 